Okay, so here we go. This is my schoolwork. Oh my goodness. That was when I started out doing baby photography. But this is my GCSE coursework. So it's all done on a film. This is what GCSE photography looks like. Hmm. All shot on my Minolta 404 SI. At least that was after I got the camera. Like at first I was using the school cameras. They just had this cupboard um, with all these old, really, really old cameras in. Film cameras, obviously. My friend Emily, <laughs> we were best friends at school. We used to sit next, next to each other. And there's Kieran on the back. I was like, mate, can I put makeup on you? And can you pretend to smoke? And can I take pictures of you? He's like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> this, I love this, right? Can you see the grain? As in film, back in the days of film, that's what it was called. It wasn't called noise. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? Like this was SFX film and the grain is absolutely beautiful. You know, it's just, it's different. It's different to digital noise. It's like sand, you know, it's like sand from the beach. It's tiny little speckles. It's like, I don't know, more pure or something like, like smaller grains, you know? Sometimes in digital noise, it does look like a pattern. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, it looks more like, there's this thing called reticulation, wasn't there? If you shocked the film, if you put like cold water on the film and then warm water and you shocked the film by the two different temperatures, you got this thing called reticulation. I'm sure that's what it's called. And you get all these little, um, like hexagon shapes all over the film, which wasn't good. But sometimes I think digital noise reminds me more of that. It looks, it looks digital. Like this, the, the grain on this photo is so beautiful. It's just, I know you get, you seem to get more tone or something. There's like, I can't really explain it. Like there's more depth or something. There's more richness. Richness in the tonal value, you know? The blacks are so rich in a printed black and white. And you don't get any bluish tones. It's just black and white. Like, look at that. There's no weird tones in that whatsoever. It's just black every shade of grey you can possibly imagine, and then white. And the highlights are popping, and the blacks and the shadows are rich. Oh, it's just amazing. I love it. I think printing, whether you're printing on a printer or in the darkroom, is, is so much fun. It's really got, it's an art in itself. But the difference between that picture of Emily and the picture of Kieran is just literally the grain really brings it to life somehow. Oh, that was another one that I took when I worked for a portrait photography company. Hmm. Can't really see them in these, can you? Here we go. And I think this on this side is when I started doing it for myself, working for myself. It's a bit glossy. You see how the glossy, this is why I always re recommended to people, 
if they were going to have prints not to have glossy because I just feel like they just reflect the light too much. So I think a semi-gloss paper or a matte paper is quite nice. Like glossy is supposed to look sharper, isn't it? But I've never really been a big fan of glossy paper. Particularly if you're putting it in, you know, behind glass as well, then you get double the shininess. I remember this guy, he was an actor who got on the bus and came from Swindon to where I was living. And he was building up his portfolio for acting. So he wanted lots of different expressions. I just thought I would show you my compost. Very exciting. <laughs> Look at that. What I love is that that is just full of absolutely millions of nutrients. We even put, as you can see, the ash from the fire in there. And you've got to get a balance. Like, you mustn't have too much of one thing. And it's a real old mixture. And I think grass has got... Is it nitrogen grass is high in or something? So you put that in, then you have to balance it out with veg. And there's... My dad told me you can put newspaper as well, so much newspaper into a compost to balance out something else. One thing balances out another and it all works together to put those nutrients back in the soil. Look at these daffodils coming out. Spring is on its way.